good right there. I thank you, Waltz and Boxes, for, uh, for handing me that. Not sending it to me, but he actually handed it to me. It was a pleasure to meet you guys again. All right, I'm Man Caver Tools. Today, we are going to do the versus video between Hilti and Flex. I've been waiting for this one for a while, but like I said in previous videos, I broke uh, a while ago for the competition on who's going to verse Flex. Uh, Hilti's Chuck broke. I had to uh, test out Hilti's warranty, and I got Hilti's, uh, so I got the Hilti fix. I'm going to make a prediction. I, if this is a one and a half inch speed bore. I do think that Hilti is going to fail this test on speed two, but we will find out. I don't think Hilti ever completed this on speed two yet, but we will find out. But I think uh, Hilti is going to fail this test. So we're going to do some ultimate stress tests, but let's take a look at the specs and then just flat out get to it. Before we do that, I do want to announce the winner to the $200 Ohio Power Tool gift card. And the winner that my wife picked out is, oh, I make sure I say it right. This is Daniel Bosman. Uh, I'll put the name up right now. And so I will message you. I'll actually reply to your, uh, to your comment and I will try to get the information from you so I can get this to you. And so congratulations, and I thank all you guys for doing the hashtag Bolts and Boxes. Go to their channel, check them out. Bam. All right, but let's look at the specs and get to it. All right, so the Flex with the 8 power battery is six pounds, 14.6 ounces. And the Hilti with the 8 power battery is six pounds and 0 0.5.5 ounces. So the, so the Hilti actually weighs less. Yeah, I say this in every video for Flex, I do not like the, the, the rubber molded grip because you feel all those designs it's just like the rigid's grip. I, I can't stand feeling all that designs because I'm not sure if you guys could see it. Like you, you feel that. So like a rigid, in my opinion, rigid and flex have the worst handles when it comes to the actual handle for the tool. Ryobi is number one. Ryobi has my favorite handle, then, it, then it's Hilti. But when it comes to the, this handle, both handles on both tools are very robust. Like they'll take a lot of abuse. We're gonna do flex first. Flex does have turbo mode, which we will use on and off as needed. If flex fails to do a test with turbo on, we are gonna redo the test with turbo off. That is the benefit of having flex because it has uh, four speed modes. Really, it has four speed modes, so that's what we will do. On this log, we are gonna do uh, two six inch legs and two eight inch legs, and as you can see, they do fit on there without going through the bottom. Then we'll switch logs and do a 10 inch. And just so you guys know, for the concrete, we are gonna go heavy duty. We have five eighths by six inch rotary drill bit. So yeah, the, we're gonna do some hard, uh, hardcore concrete tests. It's on speed two, it's on drill. And for those of you who don't know, if it's on drill, this clutch is useless. This clutch is not activated. So don't even, don't need to make a comment saying that it's on, uh, cl the clutch is on 21. It's in drill mode. So speed two, the turbo is on. Like I said, we will turn the turbo off if it can't do it. Battery is full, eight amp hour uh, battery with 21,700 cells. And the same thing with the Hilti, eight amp hour battery with 21,700 cells and the battery is full. So this is 100% even. You can do it, you can do it. Did it, did it. Like I said, these are the, this lag for drills is a tough task. It's not easy doing those. Good job on flex. All right, so let's do Hilti's six inch lag. It's on a speed one, it's on drill. Time, no problem with it at all. No problem at all for Hilti. Like I said, uh, if Flex uh, fails, we will do it again with Turbo Off. That's the benefit of having Flex. 
All right, let's take it out. Not bad. That, that is a powerful drill. Let's take Kilties out. Wow. Easy. Time. I'll stop the timer at the right time. All right, next, let's do eight inch legs. You can do it. You can do it. Good job, Flex. All right, let's do Hill T's eight inch lag. Time. Not too shabby. Bowser from Shanana and Arthur Fonzarelli. All right, let's take flexes out. I do like what flex does. Flex, you can hear the motor wind up as it goes, so increase the RPM as the, the task gets easier. Let's take out Hilties. One hand. Not too shabby. Time. All right, then we need to switch logs because the, the 10 inch lags will just go through the bottom. This only eight inch lags can do that. We'll do flex right here. You can do it, you can do it. Time, it did it. All right, it is Hilti's turn. All right, ready, go. Nope. That fed into the other hole, so that's not good. All right, we'll do Hilti right here then. You can do it. Time. Not too shabby. What, like it, one thing I will 100% admit for Flex's first line of tools, it, it's it's very powerful. It is extremely powerful for their first line. I'm hoping that their second version of this in the future is uh, even more powerful. Let's take it out. One hand. Time. I'll stop the timer at the correct time. Let's do Hilties. Time. I'll set the timer at the right time. When it comes to this task, we are going to do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We're going to do it on the highest speed. Now the task is to go all the way down, continue spinning, then come all the way up without stopping. If it's too much for flex on turbo, we will do it again with turbo mode off. We are going to do two holes each. All right, so speed two. Turbo mode is on. And since turbo mode was turned off, I think doing that 10 inch lag, turbo mode turned itself off because turbo mode does do that if it feels like it's too much RPM. All right, so quarter inch speed board, we're gonna do two holes. There we go. Very good, and then we're gonna add, uh, that's with turbo mode on, by the way. Uh, and we're gonna add both, the times for both holes together. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Hilti's turn. Let's do the second hole. All right, just to let you guys know, I edit out, uh, I edit out uh, ready go. I no longer do that. Uh, it, I just, no countdown, no ready go. I just do the test now. So if you see a little, uh, a shift right before the test, 
I don't do ready to go anymore. All right, so I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but both of them succeeded at that. Now let's do one hole with a one and a half inch speed bore. Yep, see, uh, that's where it stops. Uh, Hilti, uh, sorry, Flex failed as well. All right, so next we are going to do a one and a half inch spade bit, and then we are going to do a three quarter inch drilled bit. And this, with this test, they got to drill all three holes at once without releasing the trigger. And if either one of them stop, then they failed, but we are going to add the times per three holes. Flexes first. Battery on the flex is at three bars so far. We're just going to do one hole with this. Speed two. It's on drill. Turbo mode is on. Time. Got to be careful. Don't want to snap that. Let's do this. Speed. Speed two. It's through. It got caught. It's through. Yeah, I haven't done this. I haven't done this test in a while with this inch and a half. It gets caught on the shrapnel on the bottom. All right, so like I said, three quarter inch. Each tool has to do three holes in a row without releasing the trigger. And we are going to time it. Uh, turbo mode is on. Up, oh, turbo mode's flashing, so I think, uh, let's try that again. Yeah, turbo mode's flashing, so I, I don't think it's gonna let me use turbo mode for right now. Yeah, uh, let's go. Not too shabby. If if I need it, if I need to let uh, the flex cool down to do the concrete, then I'll do that because I really, really want to use turbo mode on the flex. It should be cool enough by then. All right, same thing. Got to do three holes in a row on speed two without stopping. Get over here. Time. They both did it. They both did it. All right, so let's uh let's check on that flex really quick. I'm hoping that turbo mode stays on. Now, if turbo mode's still flashing, up oh, it's on now. All right, so we'll, we will use turbo mode on the concrete. All right, so first we'll do the flex. The battery is at three bars. Turbo mode is on, it's on speed two. It is on hammer feature. Let's make sure the hammer works. Yes, it does. Do the same thing with Hilti. Battery's at three bars. Speed two, hammer feature is on. Yep, both work. All right, so let's do uh, right here should be good. These are both, both of them have brand new bits, by the way. That is time. I want to see if turbo mode still is working. Nope, turbo mode turned itself off. It should be flashing now. Yep, turbo mode turns itself off. Let's scoot that out of the way. And let's do that. Yep, that's good enough for me. 
That's part of that's so far enough. Alright, so it is Hilti's turn. Do it right next to it. My calf, my uh, thigh cramped up. Ooh, that sucked. Sorry about that, you guys. My thigh cramped up. It's been a long day. All right, let's continue. Make sure we're in focus. Yeah, I, I could already tell, though, that this is taking a lot longer than the flex. Oh, my palm. Yeah, uh, I could definitely tell you that the Flex is uh, performing better at this task. I got about an inch to go. Yep. So both are brand new bits, so that shouldn't matter. It, it, both of them were, are in forward. There it goes. Done. It probably it probably got a you probably got a rock or some or something, but still the flex uh I don't know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I think flex got this test. That tur like uh that turbo mode probably helped it out a little bit, but then it shut itself off. All right, the temperature for the flex 61, 65, 81. 70, 75 degrees for the flex. See if you guys can see that. For the Hilti, 68, 74, 73, 72 for the Hilti. It's cold in here, so both, like I said before in the beginning of the video, both tools are gonna stay cool because it's it's cold in here. That, that flex turbo uh, in the hammer feature majorly helps the tool out. All right, you guys, so you guys already know what the test results are. I do not. Uh, but yeah, I feel like flex got the concrete test. They both stayed cool. I don't know what the results are beyond the concrete test because I just feel, I feel like the flex got that one. I might be wrong, uh, but it, I just feel like it got that one. I'm sorry that my... Uh, and my thigh cramped up uh, during the Hilti test. It's been a long day. It, it really has been. Well, yeah, those are the test results. Both tools are fantastic tools. Now, I do give Flex props for being their first line. This really is a powerful hammer drill. All right, but more videos coming up, you guys. This is just the beginning. The next thing I got to do against Flex is the DeWalt Power Detect. We've been building up since then. I will be testing out the Ryobi Link and the portable storage units because I am going to make this, the wall right there into a complete Ryobi Link uh, wall. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be much more organized in here. There's only so much you can do with uh, y, uh, metal wire shelving and uh, peg boards. So I want that Ryobi Links, which I'm going, to get, I'm going to get some of those. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Congratulations to Daniel for the $200 Ohio Power Tool gift card giveaway that I got from Belts and Boxes. Please go check out Belts and Boxes. Oh, good, guys, go check out other YouTube channels just like Search Tools. You know, we need more people in the construction business. You know, we need to get more people in there. I was in the construction business back in the early 2000s, back when I was uh, in my tw back in my 20s. Yeah, but those days for me are over. Uh, my my back is screwed. I can't even uh, tie my shoe without my back severely aching. But yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. 
This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.